Hey, what's up guys? It's Goo here. Um, just making a simple tutorial on how to set up Netplay for some of the people that can't seem to install Netplay by themselves. So basically the way I set up this tutorial, um, don't mind the list right now because the list is all over. Uh, part one is going to be installing Dolphin and configuring it. Part two is going to be setting up your Wii U adapter for Netplay. And then part three is just a quick start guide on how to connect and host with other people in Smash Ladder. So before we even start, we're going to download something called WinRAR. Um, it's used to open a file that we get from Smash Ladder. So the first thing what you want to do is open up Google and search up WinRAR. And it should be the first link, as you can see, it's uh, R it's from RAR Labs, and it should be on their WinRAR 64-bit. Uh, most computers run 64-bit now, so I'm gonna go ahead and say click that. Uh, wait for it to download, hit run, hit start. There's no adware or anything, so just hit OK, and you're done. All right, so the first step, is you're going to open up your favorite internet browser and you're going to type in smashladder.com and under the top you can see right there under guides and help tab it's the first option netplay guides click on that you should bring up to page hit dolphin faq now a new window is going to open up you're going to click on latest build the numbers right next to it it should bring up a new page, uh, brings you to the Dolphin website. Just click on that button right there that says Windows X64. And the download should take a few seconds, depending on how fast your internet is. So once that's finished downloading, just click on that, um, hit extract to, and see where this file location is. It's really this like really random place, even though it's under your downloads folder. We're gonna make it simple. And we're going to make you click on the desktop and then hit new folder. Name the new folder, whatever you want. I name mine Melee Netplay. And just hit OK. And just hit OK again. Once again, I'm just doing this for simplicity's sake so you know where the files are. So once you hit OK, a little window pops up and you're done. Now I have multiple screens so you can't really see it, but there should be a folder that pops up on your desktop to whatever you name. As for mine, it was mainly Netplay. Um, once you open it, you know, Dolphin's right there. Hit run and it should pop up. So at this step, we've basically completed part one. Um, if you have any difficulties, you know, you can always go back and rewind. Now, after a little digging, and once you finally find a um, Super Smash Brothers Melee ISO, um, go to wherever you downloaded it and drag it onto the desktop folder that you made a few minutes ago. And then go to Dolphin and see that config button right there? Click it. Go to the Paths tab. Uh, hit Add. Um, go to wherever your melee folder was mine was in desktop click on that and make sure that the search subfolder is on and hit OK and look at that now once you see that icon um, we're gonna go hit right click properties um, go to the gecko codes right there and check the first box now you can check the second box if you want. If you don't like the music, it basically just safely disables the music. So when you're playing online, you can get rid of the sound, but just make sure the first box is checked. Next step, you can go to config and make sure you enable cheats or else your gecko code won't run. And FPS, just put at 60. Um, the advanced settings, just leave everything be. Um, yeah, you leave that whatever. Audio, ooh. Yeah, um, X audio two is usually what people use. Um, lower the volume because usually when you start the game is really loud. Um, 
for memory card, disable memory card for nothing. It just it just optimizes for net play. Uh, that yeah, you can just leave that whatever path we already went through. Advance, you don't really need that. Hit OK. Under graphics, um, there's two different versions. There's OpenGL and DirectX. You just have to play around with it, depending on what you know card works. Vertical sync and full screen, uh, that's really up to you. I just left it alone. Um, but I did check that show FPS. It just makes everything nicer to know if I'm laggy or not. Um, all that I just left alone. Um, you can change the resolution depending on how good your graphics card is. I left that alone. Um, hacks, once again, you leave it alone. Advanced, I uh, left that alone also and hit close. And let's see if this works. Yep, the game pops up, uh, but no controllers as of right now, which we can continue on so I can tell you how to configure your Wii U adapter. Yeah, so before I tell you guys how to set up the GameCube adapters, uh, some frequently asked questions are like which adapters to use. The most common one people use is the Wii U adapter. It has the least uh, input lag, like the least, the most minimal, I'm saying like milliseconds, you know. The second one, the second best is by like a little tiny bit is the May Flash one. Um, usually people on that play use either the May Flash or the Wii U adapter. This adapter right here, the purple one, no one ever uses anymore. It's no longer compatible. And this one, I don't know. I've never used it before. Might work, but I'm not gonna be covering that in the tutorial. So the first thing you wanna do to do is open your browser again, go back to smashladder.com. And under the guides and help tab right there, again, hit net play guides. But this time, go on the bottom right corner and hit controller setup right there. As you can see, those two adapters come up again. Um, you're gonna scroll down and it should be <coughs> right there, Zadig. Click on that green word and it should bring up to a different page. Click on the Zadig for Windows Vista or later. And once that it's, you know completely downloads, Open it up, hit run, and uh, you can hit yes or no. I just hit no. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to plug in the black USB port. Uh, the gray one is just rumble. Um, just plug in the black port. Usually, you know, your computer will do a little chime that says that it's plugged in. Once it's plugged in, go to options tab, list all devices, and find WUP-028. Click on that, and make sure that the USB ID matches mine. If not, don't go any further, because you might disable a different driver, like a keyboard or a mouse. Now, there are different choices right here. Make sure you change it to win USB and then hit replace driver. A small window pops up, just hit yes. It just asks if you're sure or not. And once that pops up, um, go to controllers on Dolphin. Just make sure it's under standard controller. Hit okay, and it should work. Um, let's test it out. And here we go. Hit play, wait for this to load up. And there we go, look at that. Awesome, it works. Now for the next part, um, I'm doing a quick start on how to use Netplay. So before you go on, uh, make a Smash Ladder account. All right, so once you make an account um, and under the chat, hit play. Um, 
usually that's kind of what you do. You hit play, um, whatever description you want, friendlies or ranked. Um, basically friendlies, for example, and then endless. Um, you know, you wait for a while, but sometimes a person right away accepts. You go in and you type in, hey, uh, what's your transversal code? Now, while you're waiting for them to give you the ID, you're gonna go back to Dolphin, hit tools, and right there, see, so start net play. And right there, make sure that it's under transversal. Um, for nickname, just do whatever you want. And then go back and see he gave you a transverse ID. You're gonna copy that, um, go back to the Dolphin. Where is it? Right there. And under the host code, you're gonna paste and hit connect. And usually it pops up. That's how you connect to someone that's hosting. Now, sometimes you are unable to connect. Um, don't worry about that. <clears throat> you can always try hosting. Um, so like what I did here, instead of hit connect, you do host. Um, make sure you have the game right there. Hit host. And a small window pops up. Hit, see that's, hit copy, because that's your transverse ID right there. And you just kind of paste it into the chat. And you just kind of wait for your opponent to connect. Now, while this guy's connecting, just a brief uh, information about ping. The lower the ping, the better you can uh, pick your buffer, which means like less input lag, you know. So you can do more combos, more accurate compared to like a CRT. Uh, like this guy's ping right here is pretty good, is like low twenties. So I set the buffer to three. Um, usually you want to do the buffer like every 17 ping you increase one buffer. So let's see how the uh, connection is. Yeah, as you can see, the reason why I turn on the FPS meter at the top left corner is to know when I lag. Um, hardware wise, not internet issue wise. Just so I can lower my graphic settings if I need to. And there you go. And that's how you set up Melee Netplay.